going on guys? So I usually don't do weapon reviews, but ever since Shadowkey dropped, all I've been doing is using pulse rifles or dad rifles uh, as far as Crucible goes. So I wanted to touch up on some points that other people may have missed in their reviews. I know people have done, people who are much better than me, have done pre shadow keep reviews and post shadow keep reviews. So I'm going to give you my take on it. So for this, I'm going to be looking at the uh, Claws of the Wolf. And anything I say here is just meant for PC because that's where I play. I can't speak about other platforms such as Xbox or PS4 simply because I don't remember how the recoil is there. I remember when I used these a long time ago on console, they were pretty terrible to be honest. So. I'm not gonna speak on that. I'm just gonna speak on my experience on PC, okay? So with that out of the way, yeah, I wanna thank Sop or Lollies for allowing me to use his account. Um, yeah, it says Titans are bad, fight me right now, <laughs> but usually it's Lollies. But can we just admire how nice this hunter looks? I mean, this hunter is like sexy as hell. Look at this. That is beautiful. All right, but enough kissing his ass. He let me borrow his account because he has two god roll claws of the wolf. So let's take a look at them. Now, any gameplay you're going to see here is not going to be with these god roll weapons because a lot of people do that, and I don't see the point in that because majority of people don't really have access to the god roll because they either they don't grind as much or they can't grind as much because they actually do things in real life. So we have full auto. That's a really good perk to have on rapid fire frame. Rapid fire frame pulse rifles have always staggered you a lot, and you add high caliber rounds to that with full auto, and it's perfect because you can crouch shoot quite a bit you can dodge snipers while staggering them and that goes for any other single shot weapon like a scout rifle or a hand cannon next he has outlaw outlaw is very good for this weapon in specific because that reload speed is horrendous it's terrible so outlaw is amazing uh, of course we already went over the high caliber rounds you know snipers everybody snipes in this game everybody wants to be a sniper so high caliber rounds perfect that knockback is ridiculous and then you have Arrowhead Break, which gives you more handling and less range. If that's what you want, sure. I don't recommend that. Extended Barrel is much better because that extra range is perfect. So, yeah. This is a good roll. This is a very good roll. Uh, is it God roll? Yeah, some would say, yeah. I'm not going to claim that. I said God roll earlier, but I'm not going to claim that. Let's just pretend and say that. Now I'm going to go to the next weapon. Now this right here, this is another one that he has. Look at the sexy weapon. This is nice. Uh, so he has Kill Clip. Good. With Outlaw. You remember this old combination is amazing. <laughs> uh, so Kill Clip Outlaw, that's self-explanatory, amazing. High caliber rounds to stack on top of that. So with the extra damage plus you're staggering the shit out of them so they can't even really hit you very much or they're going to have a hard time hitting you. And this is a two-tap once it becomes, uh, once Kill Clip procs, it's a two-tap. Only five minutes. And Outlaw's perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a game, you heard that. <laughs> and then you have Corkscrew Rifling and Small Bore. Uh, Small Bore... It's probably the better choice here, to be honest. I don't know why corkscrew rifling was on, but it's, I guess for that extra two handling, maybe he wanted that. Um, but yeah, small boy <laughs> for range and stability, a tiny boost. Um, the only thing he doesn't have is the masterwork. But overall, this is a really good role as well. Uh, for me, I think this is a really good role for like trying to get clips because Kill Clip Outlaw is amazing. But for 1v1 fights, I would say it doesn't really have very good dual potential because the only thing that's helping you in that 1v1 fight is this high caliber rounds. But you don't have rangefinder, you don't have full auto. You have outlaw, which demands a precision kill to get. You have kill clip, which demands a kill in the first place to proc. So this, uh, if you have an amazing shot and you hit your crits every single time, sure, if you're perfect, right? But if you're not, I would say that this is probably not the best for 1v1 fights. Which me personally, I prefer a gun that's good at 1v1 fights. I don't know what you're thinking. Well, it's Destiny. When do you get a 1v1 fight? Yeah, yeah. But if you can't win a 1v1 fight, how are you going to win a 1v2 or a 1v3? <laughs> but yeah, these are very good rules to hunt for. If you have these, I would definitely say equip them. Now, there's a common factor in all of these weapons that I'm going to show you today. And that is the high caliber rounds. This, to me, is one of the most important things. High caliber rounds doesn't always guarantee you the win in a fight. But on a rapid fire frame pulse, such as this one, it really helps. Because it's, you're constantly getting lit up by the, what the hell is this? <laughs> you're constantly getting lit up by the rapid fire pulse. And with high caliber rounds, that just keeps knocking you back. You'll literally see the dude's head go bop bop, up and down. And it looks hilarious. Now, here's the thing about these weapons. Rapid fire pulse rifles, they have terrible handling. So if you have anything to, you know, like, what is it called? Fluted barrel. If you have, like, fluted barrel, 
it's very good. And of course, you're not going to be sliding everywhere. It depends on your playstyle too. If you just sit in the back like this the whole time, then yeah, you don't need handling. But if you want to be sliding and stuff, you might want to get a rifle dexterity, I believe it's called, and put on fluted barrel. It'll really help this. So this crappy handling is a big part of why I didn't uh, use this on his account. You know, uh, most of the clips are going to be from my account because I can't use this. This to me is ugly. I'm used to mine. This has no, it's not snappy whatsoever. And I'm not about to buy mods for his armor with, you know, his currencies. That's not cool. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, we're gonna hop onto my account and I'm gonna show you my role and see if maybe you have anything familiar to it. Alright guys, so this is my Claws of the Wolf. Um, yeah, I know it's not as pretty. <laughs> um, but let's just get on with the role because I already spent too much time here. Uh, Rangefinder is the first one. So, regardless of it not showing up on the range stat, it is extremely helpful. It adds about 15 range if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, don't let this stat fool you. This helps a lot. And then we have Field Prep. This is a very... Let's just say crappy, you know, yeah, let's be honest, it's kind of crappy. You have to crouch just to benefit from it. Um, increase time reserves, faster reload, stow when, uh, and ready when you're crouching. So, you know, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's not actually good. Then for the magazine perks, I have two of the best ones. I have high caliber rounds, and I have ricochet rounds. A lot of people would opt for ricochet rounds due to that amazing stability you get. I have no problem controlling recoil um, on the Claws of the Wolf on PC. So I opt for high caliber rounds because I like that extra knockback. Like I said, I like to stagger people. So high caliber rounds is my pick. If you have ricochet though, that is a very good pick as well. These two are what you're looking for. And next I have an option between chambered compensator, which again, if you were to pair up ricochet and chambered, you'd get that almost max stability. I don't care for that, but that's a possibility. Um, and then I also have fluted barrel, which is what I like. It hardly affects my stability. It barely goes down at all. And then I get a... Uh, I get much better handling speed. So that's that's good for me. And then I have the Masterwork stability. Again, really good. I put Targeting Adjuster as the mod. Um, it can be Counterbalance stock, it doesn't matter. Whatever you need, you know, if, if you want to control the recoil, better Counterbalance stock. Um, it's really for recoil direction, not exactly recoil, to be honest. And then Targeting Adjuster for that uh, bullet magnetism. I like Targeting Adjuster, I'm a fan of it. But yeah, that's my role, and then uh, let's get on to the clips. Alright guys, as you'll see in the gameplay, um, I don't have much to show really because I try to get mostly kills that are, you know, confirmed to be mine. I don't want to just team shot the hell out of someone and uh, put that in there and show it as the weapon's performance because that's that would be kind of false. Uh, another thing, I'm not just aping with one-eyed mask and a shotgun and then claiming that I have so many eliminations with the pulse rifle when really all I did was ape the whole game and super. Um, finally, I am using gauntlets with rifle loader and I'm using boots or transversive steps with uh, rifle dexterity. Uh, I feel for these very slow moving, uh, slow handling, slow reloading pulse rifles, you really need to mitigate those negatives with the rifle loader and dexterity. So that's the setup I'm using and you do want to pair this up with a shotgun in my opinion or any other close range weapon that you're more comfortable with if you want. A uh, shotgun is just the best thing for me and it's the easiest as well. Uh, good things to pair up with would be like the chaperone or the parcel of stardust or the dust rock blues. Those are very good kinetic shotguns. They're very, very strong. Now you have that shotgun, so in case people ape you, you can just shut them down instantly. However, there's still a close to medium awkward range that you have to fill, and that is where hand cannons thrive. This is because the maps are not big enough for other weapons to compete. That was usually the case, and this nerf was supposed to fix that, you know? Um, things that would give hand cannons the obnoxious amount of range were nerfed, and the pulse rifles as well. However, hand cannons, at least on PC, are still very dominant. For this reason, you do have to adjust your playstyle to kind of lane people more. You can't be going in so aggro and then just getting picked off by hand cannon because that will happen constantly. So, when using a weapon, especially like these rapid fire frame ones, really pace yourself with it and uh, try and get good shots off. If you hit all your crits, your time to kill is very good. If not, that's okay. That's what team shotting is. Sounds cheesy, but it is what it is. That's destiny for you. I'll just leave you with this, guys. Don't worry so much about the god roll. I've noticed that everyone just goes for a god roll, and if it's not a god roll, dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. It's not that big a deal, to be honest. A god roll, honestly, is very subjective to the person using the weapon, of course. The god roll, kill clip, outlaw, ricochet rounds, and whatever barrel you use, I don't fucking care. Um, you know, let's just say that god roll. That's good for some people. I don't. I personally prefer my roll over those rolls, simply because my gun feels better. The vast majority of us get too caught up in these god rolls and we don't even see what possible, you know, good guns that we can have in front of us with good neutral perks. All we go for is the lethal perks like kill clip 
and uh, Rampage, Feeding Frenzy, stuff like that. So really analyze your playstyle and see what you like better, and then farm for a role according to that playstyle. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next oh my one. Goodness. I got body shots. I think I'm one of there. Are you serious? He got the heavy? Watch out, he's pushing you, Kudumi. Good shit. There. I mean, I'm fucking... Watch out, Chris, move. That one. Nice, Chris. Take that heavy, uh, take that special. I didn't know this transferred over to the next round. Yeah, yeah.